Hi, I'm Andrew Moore. I'm the supervisor of the Canadian Veterinary Urolith Centre. We've been offering this service to Canadian veterinarians since 1998 and we continue to offer the complimentary service through our partnership with Royal Canin and we've recently surpassed our 100,000th sample. Veterinary clinics can submit samples to the CVUC for analysis. The service is free for the vets, it's paid for by Royal Canin. They get a five-day turnaround, they get an, an analysis of their stone and they get a management protocol that's been written by veterinarians at Royal Canin on how to manage that particular type of stone in their dog or their cat. It's important for veterinarians to submit your list for testing because the visual appearance of the stone doesn't always give an indication of what the stone is composed of. So the interior layers of a stone can vary from the outer layers and it's important for the stones to be cut open and examined carefully to see what is going on inside. Sometimes the stone will start out as one type, change over time so the outer layers are different than the interior. Knowing what the interior of the stone is made of is important because you want to aim your management protocols at that mineral composition. You want to prevent that initial type of stone from recurring in the pet. The differences between quantitative and qualitative analysis are that the qualitative analysis of uroliths is based on a test kit that looks at color changes in the sample when you grind it up and add reagents to it. It's not very reliable in terms of uh, identifying the different components. It can give you false positives and false negatives. It doesn't detect everything that might be present and it might indicate that certain components are present that are not. Quantitative analysis involves cutting the stones open, examining the interior in a microscope to pick out uh, fine details to look at the layers within the stone and those individual layers are removed separately and tested in individually to determine what the stone is made of. The Canadian Veterinary Urolith Centre uses a variety of techniques to determine the composition of the stones. We have polarized light microscopy, we have electron microscopy, we have x-ray analysis, we have infrared analysis and there are some additional techniques that we can use for unusual or complicated stones.